Hello everybody, this is Fisher Boy and I am lost. Yeah. Uh I'm right now narrating, so I do not have any control over what I do what I say. It's been about a day since I've recorded this. Um yeah. And I'm going to write down I don't know what to do because last time I did an hour episode and I kinda didn't have the time to record it. So I was being skeptical and I was saying like I don't think I'm going to be able to. Okay, the lag was from iTunes, like it said before in the beginning. I had it up, and I finally got it down about, probably not this episode, next episode probably. Uh, this one's a little bit more exciting, uh, because of, you know, I'm actually able to hear some zombies, hear some stuff. I'll be able to fight a little bit more than just one or two things. I won't, I'll actually be attacked, so I'll be able to have my equipment a little bit drained. Um, and I've run into a lot of torch problems, like as in, I, I just don't have enough torches for some reason, but I also, because I was being quick and, you know, I, I have a limited time because this computer is not mine, it has other stuff on it, and I don't want to waste all the memory on fraps because it is gigantic. So... Yeah, uh, because I was doing so bad, I changed everything, trying to think, oh no, something's happening, something is being bad, something is doing something. But it was only iTunes. iTunes, I thought maybe it, it, it would be done, or something like that. No, nope, not really. And I get a little bit frustrated, as you can see. Uh, I'm, I'm liking being able to narrate, but it it's kind of, I don't know. It'd be hard to narrate and talk at the same time, and also, I can't get a good enough or clear enough sound to actually record on because my volume was, you know, I can only record one thing. I don't have the correct microphone or whatever headset. Uh, right there, um, it's the red mushrooms, but I'm a little, I, I don't notice it yet, but I'm like... Awesome, some red mushrooms. They're so rare, and uh, um, because they are pretty rare, J they're like kind of like roses now, um, because roses were taken out of the uh, 1.8, and I was like, oh yeah, I, I can't use them, and I was like, oh, right there, I was like, I'm gonna go get them, and then I'm like, oh, I felt sad, like stop the sadness I'm gonna go get some iron <laughs> yeah that was my solution I feel sad I'm gonna go get some iron yeah that's pretty much it I didn't it was only one so I was a little bit sad then again because you know it's not good enough not good enough for me I need some more so I was looking around and I found a little cave up here started mining uh I don't think I'll ramble on for 20 minutes straight so I'll probably stop for a little bit, you know, let the thing record, let it do its thing. <laughs> I'm just rambling, yeah, I probably should do it at the same time. Uh, I should actually get a new microphone. I've tried, I just can't get one because I haven't been able to find it. Uh, I was annoyed and thinking, uh, or paranoid pretty much, that I was going to run into actual some monsters for once because I haven't run into them like almost all episode after I met those uh, stinking cave spiders and I was like oh no I'm going to die because if I hit a monster too hard it will you know overwhelm me more lag <laughs> so all I have to say is more lag and I was like man there's so much oh gosh oh my gosh again and that was, it was just freaking out. I was like, oh my gosh. I, I thought I was safe. I thought the world had given me a free life or something like that, you know, because also the hunger bar, the hunger bar isn't going down. I don't know why, it's just a bug. It And I keep on throwing away mushroom stew, stuff like that, like I, you guys saw. I, if anybody's wondering what the heck I was doing, I was throwing away food so I could get more because I wanted to keep it fair, you know. It's not fair if I can have unlimited health still. As you can see, I also wasted some armor points. Um, I'm hoping for a better... Well, okay. Halloween's coming up. Uh, I'm gonna talk about 
what's happening right now in my world instead of the Minecraft world. Oh, uh, and here's what's happening. I am thinking about being a creeper, as in, I, I don't want to be a full-fledged creeper. I, and I don't mean it in a Minecraft way, but at the same time, I do. What I wanted to do was make myself into an actual creeper in Minecraft, but at the same time, using the regular wor world term for creeper, as in spooky, scary guy that gives candy to kids and then kidnaps them. So pretty much what I'm going to do on Halloween is I'm going to sell some uh, candy, or not sell it, just let it be on the street pretty much, and I'll have a car, or my mom's car, because I, I can drive, but I'm not going to go driving around like she wants a candy kid, because I think a couple people will be a little bit suspicious why I'm doing that. Yeah, and I'll have a creeper mask on, so I'll I'll have like a mixture or an iron or ironic kind of uh, mixture to what I'm doing because this is most of the, probably the most perfect time for people to actually be kidnapping little children, which sounds kind of wrong, but it's true. Halloween kids love candy; they want candy; they want to do whatever they can to get some candy, and little, uh, little, uh, creepers come along and go, you want some candy, kid? It'd be a shame if you had it. <laughs> no, no, no. They, but, yeah, I'm serious about that, actually. That this is the worst time in, like, for little kids to be running around because if, because they don't really know. We actually have a trick or trunk actually, at our church. And what we do is that we sell candy from our trunk at, in the middle of a church parking lot, which I really have to say is not that hard to steal. Well, maybe it might be a little bit hard, but it, it would if you had enough planning to it and you actually thought it out Well, and there's this kid running along by himself, all you gotta do is pull out your little taser and stun him or pull out your... <laughs> I'm just kidding, but yeah, it's... It's going to be either hectic. I guarantee on the news there's going to be somebody that's going to get kidnapped, lost, you know, something like that. That's going to be very sad, and I, I have to acknowledge that, you know. And I, technically, on this channel, it will be only kid-friendly, non-swearing nothing, so that kids will be able to watch something that doesn't have swearing in it. I've seen so many people, the Yogcast, which... If you're not, oh, yep, I found some diamond here, I was like, oh my gosh, I straight off the beaten path, I actually got some coal, but I never did it again. I was like, I should get more, I should keep on going through these mine, mines of coal, and find some more diamond, I was like, no, I'm, I'm still not gonna get it, there, there's enough coal in the world, I don't need any more. But, back to the main subject, is that there's so many people that play Minecraft, but they they swear they're they're little kids that think that they know everything and and they just can't stop themselves. Well, I don't think they know everything, but and they n acknowledge that they swear and they acknowledge that they don't know everything, but they just can't stop swearing because kids. This is a Minecraft game. If you've seen the Minecraft teacher, man, he has little kids that play Minecraft. Do you think that they're gonna want to know what the heck is happening online if anybody else is playing? I don't think I want a child to be walking over or looking up Minecraft in another lag frame uh, and seeing the yog box because that's what pretty much they're going to do. And then Simon and Lewis are going to go, what the? And then they're going to say something. They're going to say something that's going to either make a kid grounded. May Probably they're they're gonna make a kid grounded each time that they say something. That'd be hilarious if they every single time you say a swear word, you get a child at risk from getting grounded by their parents. But anyways, yeah, I want to keep this place nice and clean. I will ble I will still allow if people want to go on this channel, you have to I have to at least acknowledge your date of birth. Like as in you're not this old guy that's suddenly going to come on my channel and it's going to be like, "Hello there, little sonny. You want to play some Minecraft?" And I'm I don't want to have that. I want to have people that really adore it and would really want to actually play some Minecraft. And 
not old people that are gonna. Well, I don't know. I don't know about what. I, I'm just. I don't know. <laughs> I personally am creeped out by old men playing Minecraft because it's been two years since people actually started playing Minecraft. Uh, and it seems kind of crazy to have old men playing it. I don't know why, because usually. I usually picture old men to be going like, why is there so many young people all day? It's like typing on the computer and everything, you know, and um, I, I just get creeped out. Like, age men like Paul Source Jr., he's a nice guy. He's just like, kind of like me, but older. He's really nice. He makes challenges. I'm doing this challenge for him and trying to get this uh, gift certificate. Bleh. I can't say it, but I bet he already gave it out to somebody else because I tried to go as long as I could for an hour and ten minutes, but as I said again, not my computer, time for bed, it was late at night, and Paul Soros Jr. had to give away that challenge so late, it took forever for him, and then it was like, well, I, I how am I supposed to put out a video in one day? And because he said, oh, if you put out a video on this day, then you get this, and etc. And there was Minecraft Con involved in that, but I was like, awesome! So I stood up all night, and I tried to get as much stuff done as possible. But I didn't get enough. I'm not done yet. I want to keep on going, and I'm going to do that. And I, pretty much here, I get lost, and I have no idea where I go. And I'm, I'm, every, I start to freeze up, and I'm like, I think this is actually where I do remember what the heck is going on, I don't know, but I, I figure out that iTunes is going to kill me someday, <laughs> either in real life or on Minecraft, doesn't make a difference, but I am a beast, and for some reason, everybody, I mean, the Yogbox, and, every, and all these different people, they're like, oh my gosh, I'm going to die from this zombie, or I'm going to die from these creepers, but they're so scared of these monsters, they're like, I can't do this. <laughs> I'm going to run away, and I'm going to hide like a little baby in the corner of my room. And I'm like, just let me place down this torch. Darn it. I messed up. Let me place down the torch. There we go. And then he starts to move off. I was like, you can't do that to me. You can't just... Yeah. So I, I just murder him. And I personally say that, to be fair, I don't want to brag, but... Or maybe I am. I don't know. It's your choice. I, I just feel like saying it, but... I say that I am probably better than the Yogbox or any of the guys, as in... I know they're really great guys. Everybody out there that subscribes, like, uh... Captain Sparkles, or... A whole bunch of different people... But they're so scared of the monsters on here, and I'm even scared. I get creeped out whenever a creeper comes around the corner, and they go, Tss, and I, I freaked out right back then. But I, I'm not afraid to take off a challenge, which you will see later, which I will not explain, and why I even give you guys information. Maybe I'm just foreshadowing, maybe I'm not. It's, it's confusing, isn't it? But, uh... I've been actually talking for a decent amount of time. I like that. Uh, but I'm saying oh, too much. Darn it. I'm trying to break that habit. I'm trying to break the habit of me saying, uh, but 80% of the population probably does do the exact same thing as me by saying, uh, and right now I'm just irritated by the noise and the frat lag, and then I see the skeleton, I'm like... Ah, uh, I'm not afraid. Let's have some fun now. <laughs> I do have enough TNT now to go... Well, no. I, I think I did take out the TNT that I was supposed to get. And... But I did have enough TNT to do it. And... Presto. Boom, baby. <laughs> See, I, I'm not afraid to attack. Even knowing... Simon... It, on the Ugg box, uh, because I'm going to reference to it because I want a penny a day, just like the Shaft, the Shaftlanders, like to uh, say. If you reference some kind of like uh, 
It, it was a weird comment. You have to look it up. Uh, the shaft are pretty clean. They still have some words, so be prepared. Uh, but right now, I'm going to have to say that this place and Polosaurus Jr. are, are your best bets to actually stay in a safe, reliable area of non-swearing. Hey, look at that. More diamonds and more lapis. I didn't think that redstone was that important in the uh, last episode because I was like, how do they count for redstone? And then they finally t then I finally knew that it was one per block or whatever, and I was... I was happy, but I was sad because I'm still not done with this. I'm not even probably 10% done with this because I'm running around like with my head between my... Never mind. That doesn't sound right. My tail between my legs or something like that, yeah. Because At the end, because I'm like, where the heck am I? There's so much stuff going on, and I can't get everything. And look at that lag. And I think that there's another one behind there because, I, because when it breaks, it crumples. And I'm like... There has to be another one here. <laughs> but no, there's nothing. I'm, I'm a little sad about that. I was like, oh, a new thing? And I was like, wait. More lag. More lag. But I think I've been up there because there's so much lighting. And I just, I just forgot about it. And I think the one most important thing that I didn't do is mine all the items in this area. I didn't mine to save my life. Be well, that's not what I meant, but I need to get as much stuff as possible, but I missed it all at the... At a I, I missed a good chunk of it because I was rushing and I needed more stuff. I needed better stuff. That's the reason why I didn't get coal. I thought I was rushed for time. I didn't... Because I wanted to get these videos out for Polysaurus Jr. so I could get more stuff. And now I'm like, I'm lost. There's no way I'm going to find my way back to my main base that I set up in episode 1. And I'm just going to have to live until I, fi I finally get a full inventory of iron and stuff like that. And oh, oh god, I'll have to also like calculate all the amounts I got before I upload this. Darn it! It's going to be so annoying. Yeah, I, I got back on the world. Uh... Yeah, because I thought it was lagging, so I was like, let me resync it. And I was like, no, it's not working. I finally, yeah, probably close to the end of the episode, I will find out that it's iTunes doing this. And I'm finally relieved that I am done with it. I figured it out. So I, I cleared off that area because it was just a dead end. I cleared off that area because it's a dead end, <laughs> of course. Uh, here's the creeper explosion. Um, and that's a good idea to actually close off the areas after you completely, 100%, including the coal, my bad, but, you know, uh, getting everything out, giving, getting all the redstone, getting all, even the coal as well, but I just didn't get it because I thought I was pressed for time again. Also because I just didn't want to mine it all. It's only one per thing, and if I mine one redstone, that already overtops it by about a lot. Yeah, here I change iTunes, I exit out of it, and I'm finally free of its evil curse. And I don't really miss much. This is one of those videos where I actually just show off my talent of not missing much. I know where everything is. I don't need help with people help telling me, oh, you miss this, you miss this, because I usually get it all. I usually don't have the problem of actually finding it. And I'm saying actually no too much, and a whole bunch of other words that I usually don't say. See? I noticed stuff that, out of the corner of my eye, I noticed. It'd be hilarious if, like, suddenly I turn around and Enderman's just sitting right there like, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> I can just picture an Enderman kind of being, like, one of those, like, the tall, powerful kind of, like, if you were to place an Enderman in, like, the latter scale of the human society, I think they'd be one of those big fat men. The Creepers would kind of be, like, Koreans, I don't, I, I'm not trying to be racist right then and there, but they gotta be like the Korean super, uh, suiciders that are like, my life is over. I, I don't matter, nothing matters anymore. I'm like, and now I get another, I get another iron pick, and I'm like, I'm like, again, I say light too much. But, 
Uh, I find more iron. I find more stuff. I could make thousands of iron picks over and over, and I would probably never run out for the next week or so. And it's really fun. This place is really fun. This game is really fun. I'm hoping that everyone's able to buy it. Uh, and we're getting close to the episode, the end of the episode. I'm going to have to say to everybody that you guys have a great Halloween. Have a great day. Have Just have, have everything fun for you. Uh, and enjoy your day. Enjoy everything that happens. Uh, because... Not everything can last. I don't know. I'm trying to give off one of those, like, mem like memorial or something like that. Something that will help people with their lives. I'm like, ugh, I say like again, again, and again, and again. So, this is Fisher Boy signing off.